Whatever reason to subtitle and caption your video, Simon Says can help. So besides supporting numerous subtitle standards and formats, we have an optional new tool to make subtitling easier. It's called the Visual Subtitle Editor. You can still just export right to a subtitle format, but now you can preview how subtitles look in this new editor. Its purpose is to show you how they will appear on screen and then to be able to edit them so that they are perfect. If you want speaker names to appear in the subtitles, you should label them in your transcript first. Once you're happy with the transcript, click Export. Select this icon, and then you have a few options to choose. How many characters per line do you want? By default, Simon says the CEA 608 and 708 compliant. These are broadcast subtitle standards. Ready? Click Let's Do It. A new project will be created where your transcripts now appear like subtitle cards. Each word has time code attached to it, and so the start and end times of the subtitle cards is predetermined by the first and last word in that subtitle card. Each section is a subtitle card. You can create new subtitle cards by clicking enter or combine cards by clicking the backspace button. You can type in new words as you like. The subtitle editor is like a Google Doc. Make any edits on this page and they will automatically save in the background or you can force save it by clicking save now. You should check out the keyboard shortcuts by clicking the question mark icon on the toolbar. Once you're happy with this all, click export and then choose that subtitle format that you need, such as SRT subtitles, or if you're exporting to Facebook and YouTube, choose this. Or for an extra cost, you can burn the subtitles right onto the video with this option. This is super helpful if you want to force subtitles to appear. An example is if you're posting to Instagram, Instagram doesn't have a caption on off option. So burn in subtitles is the way to go. So now you're an expert on the visual subtitle editor. If you have any questions, ping us with the chat icon on the bottom right of the website.